Welcome back to HBT American Success Stories. Visionary entrepreneur Cesar Melgosa combined his interest in psychology, market research, and data with what he learned at Apple to pioneer analytics technology. Maribel La Luz gets insights into its benefits for business strategies and the burgeoning growth of multicultural marketing. What is Geoscape? And what is your role here? Geoscape provides an online platform with market intelligence data so that our clients can understand who their customers are and how to reach them through retail distribution and through media so that they can grow their businesses more effectively. And we have hundreds of companies using it all over the country as well as throughout the European community as well. Geoscape is a reminder that we live on this planet Earth, uh, but some of us want to look at not only the geologic aspects of the Earth, but we want to understand the business aspects of the Earth, where people live, where the stores are, where media coverages are, and we want to digitize that so you can have access to it at your fingertips and so that you can make decisions, good decisions, rapidly through an online interface. And tell us a little bit about you. How did you get to be the CEO of Geoscape? Well, the first love was really music. I started playing music, but quickly determined that that wasn't a practical alternative for me. So after I went to college, I studied psychology. I decided I wanted to get a master's degree in that. But during the time I was going to school, I was involved with technology at a couple of different companies, as well as market research. And so uh, when the opportunity at Apple came along, that led me to the path of combining technology and data, which I also loved uh, at Apple uh, in the late 80s, when I was uh, turned on to the concept of geographic information systems and helped build a category we called desktop mapping back then. And I really fell in love with the technology and what, could, what it could do. And after that, I went to work at a company called Strategic Mapping. I led their marketing and international business development efforts. And it continued to have a very strong passion for this area of the industry. And so I formed Geoscape to develop international markets, as well as to go into more depth with the U.S. multicultural and Hispanic populations, understanding specific characteristics of these populations because they're forming a larger and larger part of the growth in the United States. What were some of those key benchmarks that defined your success? Well, one of the key benchmarks for us is making things easy to use. And that came from my experience at Apple. Building a system that is easy to use and quick to access with lots of powerful information is really what we wanted to do. And that information, as it turns out, for businesses is uh, critical these days when you're trying to tap into high growth markets like the Hispanic bar market as well as other cultural groups in the United States that are forming a larger and larger part of the business opportunity. One of the um, key building blocks of Geoscape was our development of international data. We developed digital maps and demographic data for Latin America, for all the countries in Latin America. Uh, at the same time, I wanted to develop uh, market segments uh, like Hispanic, African American, and Asian, and this whole multicultural world that we live in today within the United States. That's where the growth is. All we have to do is look out the window and walk down the street, and we will notice that America has changed significantly. From a, a business perspective, what is the impact the U.S. Hispanic market is making on the American economy? Well, the spending power of Hispanics is on the order of $1 trillion per year. That's a significant amount of money. It's almost 10% of the spending of the United States consumer. We're building families. We have more children than the average household. Uh, our values are such that we uh, don't skimp on certain products that are consumed by our families. We want the best for them. And so all of that is really good for the economy. And so business people should think about investing more in the development of this market and not less. Uh, Hispanics are forming businesses at more than twice the rate of uh, the average population. Part of it is because we're younger. Many of us come from immigrant families um, and there's a, this immigrant drive to create small businesses and to grow them. We've seen a lot of companies develop uh, through the online space. And we all know that small businesses are the engine of growth in this country. The future of America depends heavily on the success of Chicanos and all Latinos.
we form about 16% of the population, but we've, since 2000, we represent over 50% of the growth in the population. To survive in America, you need to market to Hispanics. You need to make them a priority. They need to be part of your plan and not just a, a little box you check off to do, to do well for your community. One of the things we've noted is that with uh, Hispanics, they're actually leading the edge in social media, in online connection, in smartphone usage, uh, and that's a real valuable tool for marketers to use, although it's a new way for, for marketers to think about how can I contact consumers and get to where they are with the message that they might have interest in. They understand that it's not just about marketing, it's about changing the way that they do business from the top down, from the executive board to the way that they hire people in, the, the, in their staff and also down to how they, the people that service and talk to these customers. Uh, and we're a corporation that's helping them drive that. I'm going to ask you to inspire a soon-to-be Hispanic entrepreneur out there. Find something that you really like to do and think about a way to turn it into a business. Formal preparation certainly helps, but you can learn a lot along the way and uh, do what you love because you'll do it better. And it's time, unfortunately, to say goodbye. We hope HBT American Success Stories has sharpened your business acumen and that our featured innovators have inspired you to keep pursuing your dream. Join us again next time. I'm staring at a poster of Carlos Santana. Behind me is Cesar Chavez, and I'm sitting next to a set of drums. Am I in the office of a CEO of a data company or am I in a music studio? Well, you're really in both. This is my office and uh, I have the drums here because I may have the opportunity to play a little bit. One of the good things I think about creating a business is if you have a love for it, then you'll do it better. Music and entertainment has always been there for me, more as an inspiration 